Do you want to see two sidekick rejects team up? Welcome to the Complete Story Series. We take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites so that we can read it dramatically back to you. All alterations of the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. Don't forget to support this great industry by using these recaps to pick which comics you should be buying. Go ahead and buy all of your comics online or at your local comic book store. Either way, you will be supporting it. This is the first and second issue of Red Hood and Arsenal, a great series that is doing single issues just like Moon Knight and Grayson. So let's explore this story. Oh, and for those of you who are asking, yes, I am looking for time to do Red Hood and the Outlaws. This is a series that you can go out and buy right now, so we wanted to do it first. This is Arsenal. He used to be one third of the Outlaws, a group that was operated by Jason Todd, AKA the Red Hood. They weren't a group of villains or anything. They just did things how they thought it should be done. And right now, he's sitting on a crate of arrows alone. He misses his old team, with Starfire heading off to Miami to be alone, and Jason, well, no one really knows where Jason went. But anyway, back to the mission on hand. Arsenal calls up Tara Battleworth as she walks out onto the field. She doesn't want to hear it. She wants to talk to Arsenal's boss. Boss? Jason was never the boss, he thinks to himself. And that's when another car pulls up, and a rather bulky individual gets out, and tells Tara Battleworth to present the man or the money. So the senator steps out of his car and laughing. I told you, Miss Battleworth, there's no need for this cloak and dagger stuff. The elderly man walks over to the large man and he grabs the old man by the wrist. There's been a change in plans, old man. Arsenal smiles. Yes, there has been. And he fires an explosive arrow into the car of these individuals. With a ba 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 doom, it throws everyone back. So Arsenal fires a blinding arrow into the field and he jumps in to start his assault. He fires arrows and he kicks his enemies until the CIA agents finally ask, What? How? He proudly tells them, I'm Arsenal, also not known as Arrowboy. The CIA agent tells him, Oh, right, didn't recognize you without the Red Hood. Oh, come on, it's not like we're married. I don't need him to save a senator from... But before he can finish his sentence, the senator drops from gunshots to his back. And then the head honcho grabs Tara Battleworth to use her as a hostage. Arsenal holds his hands to give up when the senator rolls over and he opens fire on them. Okay, didn't see that anywhere in the program. The senator blasts the guy in the chest, dropping him and saving Miss Battleworth. Didn't ask for your help, Arsenal yells at him. You two know each other, Miss Battleworth asks. So the senator drops his hologram and he reveals that it was Red Hood the whole time. With the job done, they argue for a second as to why Arsenal left the group last time, but Red Hood asks him. So what's it gonna be, Arsenal? You done crying about the girl and ready to get back into action? Yeah, I'm ready. The next day after burning Jason's shower curtains off, Arsenal explains that he spent all of their money on some nifty new gadgets. So to get some new money, they take an offer that was made to them by Tara Battleworth to assist her in keeping the rich and famous of Washington's problems silent. Their first job takes them to Paris, France, and their job is to recover a thumb drive stolen by a diplomat. They're gonna do this as silently as they can. So while Roy is trying to make some new female friends, Jason thinks that they should stick to business and he has a list of things for them to do while they're in Paris. Like fight bad guys, boss levels to beat, coins to collect. You really need to cut back on the video games, Roy. But yeah. And with that, the Red Hood and Arsenal video game begins. Level one, Red Hood battles against various Parisian terrorists. Level two is an arms dealer and a level up. And level three is Arsenal's favorite, the monster ninja people. Thank you for playing the Superhero Bros World 1. As they stand over the defeated enemies with Red Hood's guns smoking, Arsenal asks him, If you tell me that didn't feel like a video game, I'm gonna call you a liar. Eerily so. But that's when the boys get a phone call from Tara Battleworth. What are you two doing? I hired you to get a thumb drive, not have a streetwide tourist brawl. Save your threats, we're gonna get some dinner and then we'll get your thumb drive. Hood tells her as he hangs up. The two head off to dinner at the Eiffel Tower and Roy tries to pretend that he doesn't know why they're there. A notorious shade scientist is sitting across from them. And they're still on Jason's list of things to do while he's in Paris. As the scientist tries to get a little angry with the woman, Jason gets up and he punches him in the throat. Which gets all of the lackeys to jump through the window. Roy reaches for his duffel bag to suit up while Jason is being slapped around by the Mime Squad. Now can I just say one thing, Jason? When don't you say one thing? Just imagine if we were getting paid to fight these bad guys and helping people, instead of giving it away for free. Oh, and do you feel that? Which that? Like it's another montage coming on. Welcome to Mime Melee. Choose your hero. 
Red Hood with his ex-Robin angst attack, Arsenal with his trucker hat attack, or Allison with the mind this attack. Ready? Fight! This time, the guys feel like they're fighting it out on a platformer using all of their weapons to save poor Allison. Her mind this attack isn't very effective. With the final villain on his list of people to beat up while in Paris done, Jason and Roy head off to get the thumb drive, which is so uninteresting that we're going to keep it off panel. Then they return to Terra Battleworth, which locks them into her list of wet work operatives with paying jobs. Jason and Arsenal drop the money in the bank and then get ready for their next paying job. You know I'm going to kill you when this is all over, right Roy? Trained professionals should not threaten to kill people. Who's threatening? See, you think it's funny, but it just comes off as mean, Jason. And that is the first two issues of Red Hood and Arsenal. Honestly, I think it's my favorite new book coming out of DCU, and you guys should definitely check it out. Issues 3, 4, and 5, they fight a new villain, and they end up going to Gotham to fight against the new Batman. Maybe we'll get to that eventually, but let us know by giving this video a like if you want more recaps of Red Hood and Arsenal. I'm Benny for Comic Story, and I'll see you guys next time right here.